Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Good morning. I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with last night's edition of NXT broadcast live on USA Network from the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. The show concluded with a confrontation between NXT champion Ilya Dragunov and Trick Williams, who was scheduled to challenge Dragunov for the title next month on the New Year's Evil episode of NXT. In the main event, Blair Davenport and Cora Jade teamed to defeat Nikita Lyons and Lyra Valkyria when Jade pinned Valkyria. Cora Jade into the cover! And Cora Jade just pinned the women's champion! Everything breaking down in that matchup. And it turns out, roses, so to speak, for Jade and Davenport. The match marked Lyons first since returning from injury. She last wrestled 11 months ago. Dragon Lee made his first defense of the NXT North American Championship, turning back the challenge of Tyler Bate. In the men's breakout tournament, Riley Osborne pinned Keanu Carver, and Obafemi defeated Miles Bourne to advance. In other results, Metaphor bested Josh Briggs, Brooks Jensen, and Fallon Henley, and Eddie Thorpe defeated Dijak by disqualification when Dijak attacked him with a broken turnbuckle. Reported to be backstage at NXT last night was CM Punk, as well as former NWA World Champion Dory Funk Jr., who in the late 1990s operated a training camp for WWF hopefuls that predated the company's developmental system and produced such graduates as Edge and Christian, Kurt Angle, Mark Henry, and the Hardy Boys. Tony Khan held a media call yesterday ahead of this weekend's Ring of Honor final battle. During the call, he addressed his current business relationship with Warner Brothers Discovery, particularly with regards to ongoing television rights negotiations for AEW, as well as where ROH might fit into the picture. And it's really awesome that ROH has uh, these options, and also it's very complimentary for myself and my family and our business interests that, you know, the ROH media rights and the massive library and IP are there and accessible to us as we pursue uh, new media rights for AEW in 2024. And we also have the additional value of the ROH library with the AEW library that continue to grow. In WWE news, CM Punk's first match back in WWE in nearly a decade was announced yesterday. Punk is scheduled to face Dominic Mysterio at Madison Square Garden on December 26th for WWE's annual Christmas Week house show. Punk has not wrestled since his defeat of Samoa Joe at AEW All-In last August in Wembley Stadium. He hasn't wrestled for WWE since the 2014 Royal Rumble and hasn't wrestled at the Garden since March of 2012. He also began his 434-day WWE World Title reign at the Garden when he beat Alberto Del Rio at the 2011 Survivor Series. In ratings news, last Monday's edition of Raw drew a total audience of 1.466 million to USA Network, according to WrestleNomics. That's down about 4% from last week's audience of 1.533 million. The rating in the key 18 to 49 year old demographic was a 0.46, also down from last week's key demo rating of 0.49. AEW Collision's taped edition held steady last Saturday in both total audience and key demographic while running against NXT Deadline, according to WrestleNomics. The episode brought in 455,000 viewers to TNT, up about 1% from the previous week's 451,000 and the rating in the 18-49 to 49 year old demographic was a .14 for the second week in a row. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News Podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, 
Follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.